is it possible that you can sell your one single family home and purchase a fourplex? Of course it is. Happens all the time. I personally recommend it. What can you do with two single family homes? Maybe two fourplexes. Yes, but how about 34 apartment units? That's exactly what one of our beginning commercial students just did. He sold his two single family home rentals and purchased 34 apartment units. I believe that life should always be played at a bigger game continually. Now, once you purchase your first single family home, that's a great thing, that's a big deal, but don't stop there, right? I wish I could rename this video, How to Play a Bigger Game, because that's what I wanna talk about, how to take your smaller single family home and play a bigger game in commercial real estate. Now, to play a bigger game in anything, right? In life, in business, three things must happen. Number one is uh, you must get someone's, you must get with someone who is already playing the bigger game that you wish to play. Perhaps that's why you're watching this video. Number two is you need to get out of your comfort zone. If you want something that you don't have now, you have to do something that you've never done before, correct? And number three, you must take bold action. Life rewards action. If you want, to, if you want a big change in your life or accomplish something great, it's going to take a little bit of risk. In our company, we take educated or calculated risk, right? Measured risk. That's the difference and that's the key. So in this video, I will share with you how one of our students sold his two single family houses with some equity, but he had very, very little cash flow. One or two hundred dollars a month. Very, very minimal. But he had uh, decent equity and he traded that into 34 apartment units for more cash flow. Not only more cash flow, but 14 times more cash flow and a ton more equity. What did those two things get him? It brought him closer to his goal of financial freedom. Hi, I'm Peter Harris with Commercial Property Advisors. I am the author of my best-selling book, Commercial Real Estate Investing for Dummies. Also, my other uh, bestseller called the Commercial Real Estate Investing for Beginners. And also, we can probably now say that we have the number one rated YouTube channel on commercial real estate investing, and that's because of all of you watching. So thank you so much for that. Now, in this video, I'm gonna share with you uh, how to take your single family home, right, with equity, maybe a little bit of cash flow, maybe zero cash flow, could be negative, it doesn't matter, but how to play a bigger game in commercial, all right? To produce more cash flow, more equity, and get you closer to your goals of financial freedom. Let's do that next. Let's start off with the problem. This is our student's problem in this case. And as I go through this problem, see if you can relate to his problem. Maybe this is you too, right? So the problems were twofold. Number one, he held a bunch of single family home rentals. They, most of them had uh, equity, and, but very little cash flow, all right? So lots of equity, very little cash flow. If that's you, listen up. His second problem is he felt stuck in buying single family home rentals because he had the equity but very little cash flow and it wasn't helping him achieve his goals of working less in his professional job and doing more commercial later, right? So uh, he was kind of stuck in these single family homes and stuck what to do. Does he buy more? What does he do next? So uh, he came to us with these two problems. And by the way, I, I don't recommend uh, books very much in my videos, but there was a great book I'm going to share with you. Uh, it's going to help you uh, if you're stuck in, in your business, right? So it's, go, it's called How to Get Unstuck by Matt Perman. It's an awesome book, and it really helps you identify where the barriers are, uh, mental barriers and habits, and it helps you get unstuck. So check it out when you get a chance. All right, okay. So now back to these two problems, single family homes, lots of equity, little cash flow. He felt stuck because uh, his program of buying single family rentals were not helping him uh, get financially free. Just wasn't, right? Does he buy more or what's next? So that's when we came in as his advisors and as his, uh, as his mentor, all right? So uh, why is having this problem 
Uh, acknowledging this problem is so important, right? The reason why it's so important is called opportunity cost, okay? Opportunity cost, which is the benefit an investor, our student in this case, misses out on when choosing another investment over another, right? So basically, uh, what was it, what was his single family home rentals costing him in opportunities? So as he chooses to invest more and more in single family, what was he missing out on? I can tell you was missing out on, right? So after nine months of focus and hard work, he discovered that he was missing out on increased cash flow, uh, increased equity, increased net worth, and, and playing a bigger game. That's exactly what he was missing out on. Right now, there is a solution to these two problems. I am going to model the solution for you in this next part of the video. See you there. Here we are at the solution. Now, this solution is a working model uh, for you if you have a single family home with equity, maybe uh, negative or no or zero or small cash flow. This is what you can do. This is a working model. This is exactly what our student did. Now, uh, the first part is to prepare and sell your single family homes. Let's stop there. What do I mean by prepare? What I mean by prepare is on your single family home, you just can't sell it. You have to get it ready. So if it's raggedy looking or if it needs repairs or it needs uh, some type of uh, uh, attention, take care of that so you can, it can show the best. Uh, hire an agent, do your research on sales comps, and lastly, get help. Get an advisor, someone who's experienced uh, with these type of things. That could be us, but if it's not, get someone you, you trust and knows what they're doing. And the reason why is because this next step from the single family home into a commercial deal most likely is your biggest investment ever in your life. Don't do it by yourself. Get help. All right. And then to sell your single family homes. Number two is you're going to sell using a 1031 exchange, 1031 tax deferred exchange strategy. I want you to Google that and look it up later. Right. But basically, the 1031 is an IRS tax code that us uh, real estate investors really, really like. And here's why we like it. Uh, whatever profit we make from the sale of our property, if we take all that profit, all the equity, and we move it into the, into the next property, a larger property, we can do that and, and not have to pay capital gains taxes. We can actually defer it and use all of that to grow our portfolio. So, so long as we take all the equity at close, we won't have to pay capital gains. We can just trade it up and continue trading up to the next larger and larger and larger and larger property over the years. So it's the phenomenal way of increasing your wealth, phenomenal way of building your portfolio of commercial real estate. So look it up, okay? So this is what we had our student do. Now, uh, next is I'm gonna give you a before and after illustration of what, what happened, okay? So this, this row here pertains to the single family homes. This row here pertains to his 34 units. All right, so here's what happened. He bought his two single family homes for $360,000, right? He sold it for six twenty-five, dollars seven years later, right? And he made $265,000, roughly, okay? And then um, at the time, he was cash flowing about uh, one to $200 per month. So very, very small, okay? So that's the before. Here's the after. So once he sold it with a 10 through exchange property, he found the 34 units. I uh, ended up buying a property, uh, 34 units, for $1.225 million. He used the entire $265,000, that, that was about 20% down payment, to buy the 34 units. All right? Now, so you can follow me here. Over the next nine months, he increased the NOI by $22,000. All right? Roughly over the next year or so, he increase their rents uh, overall by $50 a month per unit. So not, not a stretch, pretty reasonable, right? And as you know, in commercial real estate, you've seen this in my other videos, as the NOI goes up, guess what else goes up? The property value, right? That's why the NOI is very, very powerful. So watch this. So this $22,000 NOI net operating income increase, you'd be divided by the market cap rate, in this case, in this case, it was 8%, so 22,000. 
divided by 8% equals $275,000 in increased property value, in increased equity. So what he did was he forced the equity upward. You can't do that with single family homes, only with commercial, right? So that's the power of the NOI. So a $275,000 increase in nine months compared to a $265,000 increase in the single family homes in seven years. So you see the difference, you see the power of the NOI, uh, what it can do for your, for your cash flow, for your net worth, and for the property value, all right? That's exactly what it can do. Now, the last thing I want to share with you here was what happened to the cash flow. Before, he was making one to $200 per month. Now, he's making $2,877 per month, almost a 14 times increase in cash flow going from his two single family homes into 34 apartment units, right? So now, I, I'm going to show you a picture of his uh, of his apartments all right so on the screen you see a picture of apartment so you can take a look at it and see there's nothing special about it it's pretty nice looking but it sure uh, performs a lot better than his two single family homes all right okay um, now how I want to summarize this is if any of you out there are sitting on single family homes with equity right maybe it's not performing well in cash flow right and the reason why you should consider selling is is it bringing you closer to your financial goals, financial freedom, working less at the job, having security just in case you lose your job? Uh, what if you were downsized? Are your single family homes going to help you pay the bills? All right? So I want you to consider all that if you're sitting on single family homes, one, two, or three, doesn't matter how many. All right? Consider this as the solution. All right. Okay. Thank you for joining me today. Uh, if you want more videos like this, go on to our website, commercialpropertyadvisors.com, or simply subscribe to this YouTube channel. Thank you very much, everyone, and I'll see you at the next video.